Okay, we reached to this point and now it's time to add thickness to our feather. The simplest way to add thickness to any face is that select all of them with press L or A and then use the extra tools to add thickness to your object. And you can see that now I add thickness to my object. And after that, you need to move each one of these vertex, for example, this vertex by pressing GG to, or, or I deselect this one, I'm pressing GG to moving it them back to make it narrow. But there is also a better way to add thickness to your object that is really better in controlling the vertex and this is called solidify modifier and with solidify modifier at any point you can change the thickness of your object if you think that for example I need to make the thickness my object a little bigger than my reference image so let me control Z and back to the this point and if I go to the edit mode I go to the add modifiers, add modifier, generate and solidify. And you can see that the solidify has a thickness amount and if I increase the thickness, the thickness of my object is going to be increased. Okay, and if you activate this, you can see that the vertex is going to be displayed. And the offset is whether you want your thickness go inward or outward. So if I increase the offset to plus Y, you can see that. Let me show you from the X angle. You can see that on minus Y, it's going to be from Y0 to plus Y. But if I change the offset to one you can see that it's gonna be from y0 to minus y okay so let me back to the minus y and the even thickness in the object that is really complex is gonna make sure that the distance between these vertex that you created is gonna be exactly the same but for here it's not really gonna make any difference and fill is gonna make sure that it add fill in the solidifier and if I deactivate it you can see that the faces that fill the object is gonna be deleted and only rim is not really important for now but now that we create our solidifier how do we change the thickness of our object in different parts and this is where this vertex group coming and vertex group is the group of vertex that you can define in blender and for accessing the vertex group you need to go to the data object data properties and you can see that at the top you have a vertex group but for now it's empty and every time you need to add a new vertex group, you press on plus and you, I add a new vertex group. And if I double click on this group, I can add, for example, the thickness group if I want. Okay. And now if I go to the modifier and click on here, you can see that I have one group called thickness. And as you can see, the moment I activate the vertex group, the solidify modifier is going to be deactivated. Why? Because when you assign a vertex group, you need to assign the vertices to your vertex group. But since I don't assign any vertex, it's not going to be used any vertex for the solidify. So I press all of my vertex by pressing L or A. And then if I go to the if I select on my group and click assign, we can see that my solidify modifier is gonna be back. And for example, if on some part you want to not have a solidify, you can select, for example, these two vertex 
and let me deactivate this one so that you need to make sure that we only have this vertex and if I remove this from this vertex group you can see that the solidify is gonna be cancelled on this vertex okay so once again I'm gonna assign it and you can see that now all of my vertex have solidified and one of the things that you can use vertex group is by selecting your vertices by using this selection and you can see that all of my vertices is gonna be selected and if I want to deselect some part you can select deselect for deselect those vertices from other vertices for example if I create another group and then select these four vertices and assign them and if I click on this group and press select and then press on this group and press deselect you can see that all of my vertices except these four vertices are gonna be selected and this is one of the usefulness of vertex group so let me back to the thickness group and the way to control the thickness of your solidify is by controlling this weight on each vertex for example as you can see the weight of all of my vertex is one because at the moment that i click on assign this weight was one but if for example i if i select these vertices okay and change this way left click and drag to point it for example to to make it for example to point three okay and then i select them i click on the thickness group and click assign you can see that the amount of the solidify that affect my vertex is gonna be proportional to this weight value okay so it's better to change the solidify offset to plus y to ma make the effect to become out so let me offset this like this and activate this okay so it become more like my object and back of my object is gonna be flat so i assign the point three on this value so i'm gonna select these these vertices the same and go to the vertex group this is the point three so i assign point three to these two and th this part i think 0 0.5 it's is fine so i'm going to select all of these vertex control select to here to select all the vertex until here and then select this vertex and control select on to select all the way to here and here and increase the weight to for example point six and then if i assign you can see that it's gonna be assigned and if you think that these two vertex need to be a little less so i'm going to decrease them and assign and of also for these two i can increase I can increase the number to 0.8 and assign. And this is how you add volume and, and control the value of thickness of your object. And this much is also, I think is 0.8 is better. And what is the difference between using the X root and changing the vertex one by one is that now I can increase the thickness of my object or decrease the thickness of my object any value I want and it's gonna be changed proportionally without worrying about changing any vertex okay so I'm going to back to the point five four five I think is five okay and this is what solidify and vertex group can do together
so the last part that I need to do is add a more round shape on here okay so I'm going to add one more loop cut at the center of the object okay and move the edge a little more to the front with press G and Y and you can see that because of the solidify it's gonna be work in the way that unpredictable so it's better to apply your solidify and then back to the edit mode with press tab and now you want to move your edge a little to the front so I select from here because I don't need to select the back edges select from here to here and move my edge let me look at from this angle to the G Y to move it front but I need to move the vertex more in here so control select this one to deselect this vertex and control deselect this one and press G Y to move them more then I deselect these two vertex by control selecting them and G Y add more shape to this part so select G Y a little more deselect this one by control selecting them and G Y okay so I select these two by control selecting them this one G Y I think this much is enough and now I need to add a bevel to make it smoother so I can use the control B to add bevel and you can see that as at the bottom it's gonna be overlap with the other edge but at the top it's gonna be smaller than what I want and this is where the percent coming you can go to the bevel change the width type to percent and right now it's zero and there is no bevel but if I increase the percent you can see that it's gonna be increased it's gonna be proportional to the size of the near edge and let me add one more edge and what I mean is it's gonna calculate this edge and the percent of this edge is gonna be the amount of your bevel so I add this shape and I think this much is enough for this feather and if you want to add more detail you can for example press this vertex and move them a little back here and also for this way And we can really work on this feather one more hour. I can just clean this vertex, add more edges, add bevel in here to make it nicer. But there is no other extra technique that I can teach you on this object. So to this point, I think it's enough. I hope you learned something from this video. See you on the next video. This video was one of the tutorials that I really proud of because I explained the solidify modifier and vertex group in one video and it's really a complicated video so I suggest that if you don't understand some part of it watch the video again and once again I need you to mention that you need to model this metal feather one more time without using my videos because uh, your brain need to learn without watching the video so model this metal feather one more time and as always you can subscribe like or comment if you want and i'll see you in the next video